Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, doing another little video on my car. Um, last video I did, I did a uh, did the turbo swap, little driving, and um, since that video, uh, we ran into a little bit of problem. You know, it's always problems when you're doing these these swaps. And again, I have a '99 SC Lexus SC300. You know, I'm wearing my mask. You know, we got the little you know, coronavirus, you know, repping the Jamaica flag, you know. Um, it's always these little problems, man. And uh, like I said, I have a 99 SC300 with the Aristo swap, VVTI, all that good stuff. And the last video, um, my, I had a, I have a precision, I had a precision turbo on the car. And uh, my oil feed line, had a hole in it unbeknownst to me so it was starving my turbo of oil fortunately for me the turbo was still running still no shaft play i guess it was getting just enough oil to keep it running but i think the seals kind of went out a little bit on it because it was like you know when you rev it there's a lot of oil coming from the exhaust side of the turbo so it's some oil you know so it, it, it did a little bit of damage but no shaft play so anyways, swapped over to, to a Borg Warner, you know, S362 SXC Turbo. You know, I'm gonna um, pop the hood and show you. I'm just sitting on the program. I'm getting ready to go get something to eat right now because your boy hungry. You know what I mean? But, uh, so update with the car. I'm gonna start it up. People looking at me funny out here like the hell going on but this what happened see my fan truck joint took a joint went back is I got to buy a new fan truck but that's minor did a little bit of cleaning up on it but uh update everything is running good now I replaced my um spark plugs replace my my wires because it was running crappy and uh this thing right here this coupler this had a big hole right here in the back and it was boost couldn't get it wouldn't go in the boost and it took us a while to figure it out it took me a while guessing and trying to figure stuff out and finally after i replaced the um the wires new plugs gap them still doing the same thing replace my my throttle body because I have like a two extra or another extra one but I it was, it was a, my friend and um, I gave it back to him though and uh, switched that out still didn't change anything and uh, come to find out it was just that freaking thing had a hole the coupler had a hole in it so I have to put a new coupler on there and the car is running back nice again you know running smooth but I gotta fix that damn um, fan shroud, man. That thing is a freaking eyesore. And I uh, cleaned up my headlights so they could. Uh, I need to clean up my damn fog lights, though. Them joints look terrible. We repos got the uh, the intercooler pipe and we redid that. So therefore, it sits back a little more, so it's more hidden. You can't even see the intercooler. You know, it's hidden in there. But uh, yeah, so got to get this thing fixed or replaced. I'm probably gonna put a different um, fan shroud on there. Probably gonna come there and get one from um, I think a Tundra or something like that. One of them damn trucks. Change the fan, fan shroud. You know, so it could be it could run even more cool. You know, and um, my little turbo blanket on there too. Little turbo blanket I got from Amazon. You know, Amazon sell every damn thing. They gonna soon start selling cars and shit. You know, so it's running good right now, running strong. You know, um, and another problem I had was with the uh, spark plug wire. When I hit a bump because it wasn't connected properly, it would like kind of like misfire a little bit. Come to find out, it had a, it, the spark plug wires when you connect it to the coil pack. There's a little clip. 
that clips it on to hold it on to the core pack and that was missing on the back one so it was it was just causing all kinds of freaking headache so we got all that sorted out you know what i mean so it's running good right now changed the oil did a you know clean up got a lot of oil stuff off changed my valve cover gasket because it was leaking oil so i changed the valve cover gasket you know just doing preventative maintenance you know so good to go and you know i changed all my coilovers i had Blitz coilovers, and now I'm running. I'm, I have the uh, Tain coilovers on your Tain, Tain, however you pronounce it. I don't know, for I don't know. So, my inner cooler hidden back here. Yes, yeah, he's getting at the temperature right now, so she kind of calming down. So, yeah, we're gonna go for a little bit of low ride. My little bicycle rack on the back. I need to go riding more often. Shoot. Ugh. Damn, I need fuel too. I need fuel like hell. I'm not going far. I'm just going to get some. Oh, damn. I got to put my seatbelt on. Yeah, it's pe these police around here, man. They, they press you off a seatbelt. Your boy ain't trying to get shot. Ain't coming with no cops. I leave them cops alone. I, I, you know, I do what I'm supposed to do. Make sure that I, I don't encounter them. Because I don't eat. Listen, man. They serious around here. You flinch, and they consider that a threat. So, you know, and I have family members that are cops too. My sister, she's a police officer. My sister, cool as hell, but the bad ones give all the good ones a bad rap. And you just can't trust them. You don't know who's doing what. So yeah. So my next thing is we're trying to do the manual swap. Actually, I'm getting ready to to do a um a big brake kit to my car i'm doing the uh jeep cherokee srt8 the track hog the six piston calipers that's gonna be the next thing we're gonna do that so i already got every i already got everything the only thing i need is i need to find some wheels i need to find some wheels that will fit because right now i have the uh I have the LS, I have the LS 400 brakes, front brake caliper, and the TT wheels, and that's good and fine. But I want bigger, so the uh, the calipers from the the, the SRT8 they're not gonna fit. Oh, they you know the TT wheels will not fit over them, so I gotta get 19s. You could do 18s, but you gotta come. My friend, he got 18s, you know, and he got to shave his bag on um his calipers down and he said when it gets hot you know because when it gets hot you know the, the the brake calipers expand a little bit he said sometimes you can still hear it like touching a little bit so 19s is the safe way to go where you don't have to worry about that it clears even though i don't want to do 19s i really want to do 18s but you know 19s is what i got to do another thing i did I adjusted my damn parking brake. It's funny when you own these old cars; they're well built, put together car. But you have a lot of little things that you gotta fix here and there, and you know what I'm saying. So I just been like combing through stuff, and you know, trying to. Yo, what are you doing, dude? Hey, are you sightseeing or some shit? Move. You know, but again, you know, it's like a lot of little stuff that you gotta be fixing putting together you know a lot of little preventive maintenance stuff that, that you need to do so that's what i'm doing you know and uh just getting stuff done one day at a time can't fix it all because again this this is my only car so, and it's daily driven obviously so i can't have this car down but when when i do get ready to do the manual swap it's gonna have to be done it's gonna be done for the count because obviously it's not going to be like a one day thing. So, you know, I'm going to either have to buy another car soon or rent something. And you see how they drive like a bunch of morons here in Maryland. Anytime you see somebody with a DC tag or a Virginia tag, run. Yeah, they stupid as hell. They can't drive worth a crap. 
You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you see them, run. Run for the hills. I try to stay far away from these freaking idiots. Because they can't damn drive. I'm trying to get to a little spot where I could do a little pull. But, you know, it's a lot of traffic right now. Middle of the day or evening time. You know, people are coming home from work. So, you know, tell a little bit of traffic. Oh my God, this fool is going every freaking where I'm going. Golly. Oh. oh my God. I gotta get here go the Honda boys coming around the corner. Anyways, folks, you know, I, I wasn't trying to do too much. Just trying to get some food, but, you know, just wanted to update. You know, the car's running good. I'm actually loving this turbo a lot better than the Precision. And, you know, people have the, their whole, you know, preference. You know, some people, you know, kind of background. Some people, they prefer Precision. Some people prefer Garage. Some people prefer Borg Warner. I, for one, I prefer Borg Warner, obviously. Said it like you know whole rack of times now and um you know but again the price that i got the precision for when i did get it it was hard to turn up turn you know like nah but i'm really liking this turbo i like the way it drives it's a it spools a little bit later than the precision i will say that you know what i'm saying because this this turbo is, is a is not a a, a a ball bearing turbo it's it's a you know it has a ceramic wheel on it unlike the the three 66 which is you know it's not a ceramic wheel this one is a ceramic wheel so it's supposed to be a little quicker because this thing gets in the booths at like 38 to 4 grand it gets it gets you know it starts to boogie but you know my precision was like a little bit sooner than that probably like my precision was like probably like you know like a few hundred rpms quicker you know but this turbo i will say it feels more relentless when the power comes on it feels like like it just doesn't want to stop pulling you know like it just it just going 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 and that's what i like with this one and i know i like the sound when you when it's ready to spool they have that damn uh, god damn look at this right? look at these ones right here just walking around look at here mm, 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 mm. look at that uh, damn Anyways, everybody stopping looking at them. God dang. But anyways, fellas. Um Yeah, so this joint it feels like it's more you know eager to really boogie and get busy down the road. And I like that. Like the joint is relentless. And I love the sound when it's starting to spool. It have that T51R spool. Like a lot of people they do their the T51 modification to their um compressor housing to to get that sound this turbo already have that in it it's not as loud but you definitely hear it you hear that thing whistling when it's getting ready to 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 to, to do some work so i like that about it but anyways it's another little short video you know what i mean i'm about to go get me something to eat and just uh hopefully all folks take it easy stay safe out there and uh you know what i'm saying have a blessed day. All right, peace.